I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the infinite creator. Before we communicate by answer we shall correct an error which we have discovered in the transmission of our information to you. We have difficulty dealing with your time space. There may again be errors of this type. Feel free to question us that we may recalculate in your time space measurement. The error we have discovered concerns one of the arrivals of both the Orion group into your planetary sphere of influence and the corresponding arrival of emissaries of the Confederation. We gave dates of 2,600 years for the Orion entry, 2,300 for Confederation entry. This is incorrect. The recalculation indicates numbers 3,600 for Orion entry, 3,300 for Confederation entry. We communicate now. Question 17.1 Questioner, thank you very much. I would like to say again that we consider it a great honor, privilege, and duty to be able to do this particular work. I would like to reiterate that some of my questions may seem irrelevant at times, but I am trying to ask them in a manner so as to gain a foothold into the application of the law of one. We are now in the fourth density. Will the effects of the fourth density increase in the next 30 years? Will we see more changes in our environment and our effect upon our environment? Answer, I am Ra. The fourth density is a vibrational spectrum. Your time-space continuum has spiraled your planetary sphere and your, what we would call galaxy, what you call star, into this vibration. This will cause the planetary sphere itself to electromagnetically real in its vortices of reception of the in-streaming of cosmic forces expressing themselves as vibrational webs so that the Earth thus be fourth density magnetized, as you may call it. This is going to occur with some inconvenience, as we have said before, due to the energies of the thought forms of your peoples which disturb the orderly constructs of energy patterns within your Earth spirals of energy which increases entropy and unusable heat. This will cause your planetary sphere to have some ruptures in its outer garment while making itself appropriately magnetized for fourth density. This is the planetary adjustment. You will find a sharp increase in the number of people, as you call mind, body, spirit complexes, whose vibrational potentials include the potential for fourth vibrational distortions. Thus, there will seem to be, shall we say, a new breed. These are those incarnating for fourth density work. There will also be a sharp increase in the short run of negatively oriented or polarized mind, body, spirit complexes and social complexes, due to the polarizing conditions of the sharp delineation between fourth density characteristics and third density self-service orientation. Those who remain in fourth density upon this plane will be of the so-called positive orientation. Many will come from elsewhere. For it would appear that with all the best efforts of the Confederation, which includes those from your people's inner planes, inner civilizations, and those from other dimensions, the harvest will still be much less than this planetary sphere is capable of comfortably supporting in service. Question 17.2 Questioner, is it possible by the use of some technique or other to help an entity to reach fourth density level in these last days? Answer, I am Ra. It is impossible to help another being directly. It is only possible to make catalyst available in whatever form, the most important being the radiation of realization of oneness with the Creator from the Self, less important being information such as we share with you. We, ourselves, do not feel an urgency for this information to be widely disseminated. It is enough that we have made it available to three, four, or five. This is extremely ample reward, for if one of these obtains fourth density understanding due to this catalyst then we shall have fulfilled the law of one in the distortion of service. We encourage a dispassionate attempt to share information without concern for numbers or quick growth among others. That you attempt to make this information available is, in your terms, your service. The attempt, if it reaches one, reaches all. We cannot offer shortcuts to enlightenment. Enlightenment is, of the moment, an opening to intelligent infinity. It can only be accomplished by the self, for the self. Another self cannot teach learn enlightenment, but only teach learn information, inspiration, or a sharing of love, of mystery, of the unknown that makes the other self reach out and begin the seeking process that ends in a moment, but who can know when an entity will open the gate to the present? 
Question 17.3. Questioner, in meditation I got the question about the crater in Russia in the, I believe, Tunguska region. Can you tell me what caused the crater? Answer, I am Ra. The destruction of a fission reactor caused this crater. Question 17.4. Questioner, whose reactor? Answer, I am Ra. This was what you may call a, drone, sent by Confederation which malfunctioned. It was moved to an area where its destruction would not cause infringement upon the will of mind, body, spirit complexes. It was then detonated. Question 17.5. Questioner, what was its purpose in coming here? Ra, it was a drone designed to listen to the various signals of your peoples. You were, at that time, beginning work in a more technical sphere. We were interested in determining the extent and the rapidity of your advances. This drone was powered by a simple fission motor or engine as you would call it. It was not that type which you now know, but was very small. However, it has the same destructive effect upon third density molecular structures. Thus as it malfunctioned we felt it was best to pick a place for its destruction rather than attempt to retrieve it, for the possibility probability modes for this maneuver looked very, very minute. Question 17.6. Questioner, was its danger both blast and radiation? Answer, I am Ra. There is very little radiation, as you know of it, in this particular type of device. There is radiation which is localized, but the localization is such that it does not drift with the winds as does the emission of your somewhat primitive weapons. Question 17.7. Questioner. I believe that analysis has detected very little radiation in the trees in this area. Is this low level of radiation a result of what you are speaking of? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. The amount of radiation is very localized. However, the energy which is released is powerful enough to cause difficulties. Question 17.8. Questioner, then was the Confederation responsible for the Earth receiving nuclear power? Answer, I am Ra. It is a point which one cannot judge what is cause. The basic equation which preceded this work was an equation brought through by a wanderer dedicated to service to the planet. That this work should have become the foundation for instruments of destruction was not intended and was not given. Question 17.9. Questioner, can you tell me who this wanderer was who brought through the equation? Answer, I am Ra. This information seems harmless as this entity is no longer of your planetary third density. This entity was named, Sound Vibratory Complex, Albert. Question 17.10. Questioner, thank you. Can you tell me who was the entity, before his incarnation on Earth, known as Jesus of Nazareth? Answer, I am Ra. I have difficulty with this question as it is phrased. Can you discover another form for this query? Question 17.11. Questioner, what I meant to say was can you tell me if Jesus of Nazareth came from the Confederation before incarnation here? Answer, I am Ra. The one known to you as Jesus of Nazareth did not have a name. This entity was a member of fifth density of the highest level of that sub-octave. This entity was desirous of entering this planetary sphere in order to share the love vibration in as pure a manner as possible. Thus, this entity received permission to perform this mission. This entity was then a wanderer of no name, of confederation origins, of fifth density, representing the fifth density understanding of the vibration of understanding or love. This should be fourth. Ra corrects the error in the next answer. Question 17.12. Questioner, did you say the fifth vibration was that of love? Answer, I am Ra. I have made an error. The fourth density being as that which we intended to say, the highest level of fourth density going into the fifth. This entity could have gone on to the fifth but chose instead to return to third for this particular mission. This entity was of the highest sub-octave of the vibration of love. This is fourth density. Question 17.13. Questioner, when I am communicating with you as Ra, are you at times individualized as an entity or am I speaking to an entire social memory complex? Answer, I am Ra. You speak with Ra. There is no separation. You would call it social memory complex thus indicating manyness. To our understanding, 
you are speaking to an individualized portion of consciousness. Question 17.14 Questioner, am I always speaking to the same individualized portion of consciousness in each of the sessions? Answer, I am Ra. You speak to the same entity through a channel or instrument. This instrument is at times lower in vital energy. This will sometimes hamper our proceedings. However, this instrument has a great deal of faithfulness to the task and gives whatever it is to this task. Therefore, we may continue even when energy is low. This is why we usually speak to the ending of the session due to our estimation of the instrument's levels of vital energy. Question 17.15 Questioner, I would like to make a point clear now that I am sure of myself. The people of this planet, following any religion or no religion at all, or having no intellectual knowledge at all of the law of one, can still be harvested into the fourth density if they are of that vibration. Is that not correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. However, you will find few who are harvestable whose radiance does not cause others to be aware of their, what you may call, spirituality, the quality of the mind-body-spirit complex distortion. Thus, it is not particularly probable that an entity would be completely unknown to his immediate acquaintances as an unusually radiant personality, even were this individual not caught up in any of the distortions of your so-called religious systems. Question 17. 16. Questioner, when Jesus of Nazareth incarnated was there an attempt by the Orion group to discredit him in some way? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 17.17. Questioner, can you tell me what the Orion group did in order to try to cause his downfall? Answer, I am Ra. We may describe in general what occurred. The technique was that of building upon other negatively oriented information. This information had been given by the one whom your peoples called, your way. This information involved many strictures upon behavior and promised power of the third density, service to self-nature. These two types of distortions were impressed upon those already oriented to think these thought forms. This eventually led to many challenges of the entity known as Jesus. It eventually led to one, sound vibration complex, Judas, as you call this entity, who believed that it was doing the appropriate thing in bringing about or forcing upon the one you call Jesus the necessity for bringing in the third density planetary power distortion of third density rule over others. This entity, Judas, felt that, if pushed into a corner, the entity you call Jesus would then be able to see the wisdom of using the power of intelligent infinity in order to rule others. The one you call Judas was mistaken in this estimation of the reaction of the entity, Jesus, whose teach learning was not oriented towards this distortion. This resulted in the destruction of the bodily complex of the one known as Jesus. Question 17.18 Questioner, then if the entity Jesus was fourth density and there are wanderers on the planet today who came from fifth and sixth density, what was it that Jesus did that enabled him to be such a good healer and could these fifth and sixth density beings here now do the same? Answer, I am Ra. Those who heal may be of any density which is the consciousness of the spirit. This includes third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. The third density can be one in which healing takes place just as the others. However, there is more illusory material to understand, to balance, to accept, and to move forward from. The gate to intelligent infinity can only be opened when an understanding of the in-streamings of intelligent energy are opened unto the healer. These are the so-called natural laws of your local space-time continuum and its web of electromagnetic sources or nexi of in-streaming energy. Know then, first, the mind and the body. Then as the spirit is integrated and synthesized, these are harmonized into a mind-body-spirit complex which can move among the dimensions and can open the gateway to intelligent infinity, thus healing self by light and sharing that light with others. True healing is simply the radiance of the self causing an environment in which a catalyst may occur which initiates the recognition of self, by self of the self-healing properties of the self. Question 17.19. Questioner, how did Jesus learn this during his incarnation? 